If children would have trouble drawing, if they said they can't draw well, I would say, try your best, you're doing great. Through the Bridges program, they taught me strategies. For example, using shapes. So if a child says, I don't know how to draw a person, I don't know where to start, I start by using shapes. So what shape could you use to show the body? Okay. Rectangle would be a good shape. So now what shapes could you use for the legs? A person's legs, right? If you look at my legs, think about what shape. So I'm able to coach children on their drawing, and then they're able to feel more confident and being able to express themselves in a different way. Hey, my actually turned out great. Thank you. What shape could I use to draw my butterfly's wings? Um, like the other shape, but opposite. Like that one. But what shape? Half of a semicircle. A semicircle? Half a circle? What shape could I use for the antennas, Joanne? Like a curvy line. A curvy line? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, but you had to do it on the other. Yeah, but you had to do it like this. That's how I draw butterflies. Oh, okay. Torns. Like that? We also learned about different kinds of lines, which is something that I am not an art teacher. I didn't know about those things, but we talked about wavy lines, straight lines, zigzag lines, all these different kinds of lines. So if we're making a cloud, what kind of a line would you use as opposed to if you're making a house? I think that doing detailed and elaborated drawings help them with their literacy because they're able to express themselves more. I'm an ESL teacher and a lot of my children have limited language, but when they're able to make these detailed pictures, then I'm able to tell them, okay, let's look at what's in your picture. What is the setting of your picture? Because we did a lot of work with setting and developing settings and different kinds of ways you can make settings. And now I also, as I'm doing a writing lesson, I might also do a quick little drawing lesson too. Well, let's sketch our picture. And then when I add details to my pictures, they add details to their pictures. So if they're maybe not able to express or put into a complete sentence what they want to say, I can then help them by looking at their picture and they could talk off their picture. Talking off their picture then helps them to be able to write it into sentence or paragraph form. And here's a candy lamp. This is, um, this is, um, cotton candy. Cotton candy. These are, it's raining m and and these are packages. And here's the, um, heart. It's chocolate on it. And, um, yeah. And here's some french fries from McDonald's. Oh, I know. It could be french fries, but it's Twizzlers covered in yellow food coloring. It helps the lower learners because then they're able to draw pictures and write off of their pictures, but then it also helps the higher writers because then they're able to add more detail based on what they acted out. So it, it, it helps everybody.